I have a specific introduction for the <clears throat> guest here today. Very specific. But um, before I even get into that, welcome back to Free Time with MW Free. Season two. Season two. We starting off with a bang. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I've known this person to be, uh, to wear many hats and to be a part of a lot of things. <laughs> so I'm just running mm -hmm. down all of them. And if I forget anyone, Remind me. Got you. Okay, very good. So we start from um, being a part of New York City Boys to stay in your lane. At one point in time, he's Mr. Owner Six and Park, her favorite DJ. I missed the full of the win part, but that was something else that we were a part of. Mm -hmm. uh, People's Champ. Then he joined Shake the Block, created a late night FaceTime, rebranded into Love Now, Fear Tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, songwriter, producer, and artist. We'll say all three. <laughs> all right, good. <laughs> now the uh, new King r &B and new DJ on 107.5 WBLS every Friday night, 7 8 p.m. James Plug. Plug that in for you. Mr. DJ Degree. That was pretty good. Right? Pretty good. I ain't going to lie. That was good. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> so the four to win came with the people's chant. Okay. It makes clear sense if you really yes, think about it. Yes, champ winning. Got right? it. No? Got right. it, got it, got it. Thank you for the introduction. Though, You're welcome. Appreciate it. Right? It was good. Yeah. You might have to take that and put it in like one of my mixtapes. I got something. you. I have the voice for it one time. Perfect. I record it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, DJ Big Rip. How are you? I'm good, man. Happy to be here. We've been trying to do this shit for like... We have been. For a long time now, you know, but... People so busy, man. Free is really busy, y'all. It's not me. It's free. Free. I don't even know why the name is free because she's never free. She's the busy one. I'm not the busy one. I always got time for everybody. Every interview, every booking, I have time. Blame her. I want to know if anybody actually believes that, but... DJs that and promoters great. don't lie. All right. So that okay. was our interview today. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Like, cut it out. Cut it all the way out. Um, So, we don't drink water on this podcast. I know, but that's why I'm we hiding sip, it. I know how it goes. We sip a little wine. You know I don't drink for you. You can have a sip of wine, though. It's nothing heavy. It's nothing crazy. You got to have a sip of wine. It's the first episode of season two. And it's hot There's no shit, way. Man. Now, I don't want to hear about hot because we spoke about this and we advised the gentleman to take off his jacket. And the gentleman decided, no, I'm good. <sighs> You trying to fuck up my swags? Now I'm trying to mess up your swag. That's crazy. And you gonna take the jacket off now? I'm not taking off my jacket. All right, man. wonderful. I got this, you know, this Verna Fog artist on. You know what I'm Verna saying? Fog, Verna Fog you all know, night. Like plug just, it in. Yeah, I, it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's about, right? It's that, about that is very you know, true. sponsorships and deals That's and facts. collabs and big facts i need to get a wine sponsorship that's what i'm saying like you know we probably, drink a lot should, of wine on this show you should make your own wine how about that i'm not sitting down to ferment my own wine oh, it's not we gonna go to the free wine the free time wine free wine free wine yeah free wine we're not calling it free wine like would it be free like when it would not be free oh. so why are we calling it the free wine you know what you're right exactly um how are you? I'm good, man. Life is good. Life is amazing. That's good. Happy to see another day every day. That's really it. And it's nothing really to complain about. Amen. You know? How 2022 dream? Because, I mean, I just, I hit on one of the big topics, well, big parts of your life that happened in 2022, which is now the news DJ on 107.5. Nah, that's um, actually, it's a blessing. Um, I actually spoke about this in an interview like five, six years ago. And I was like, that's one of my goals to like DJ for 107.5. Oh, that station in particular. Word. Oh. Cause 107.5 is the biggest, um, it's the number one R&B station mm -hmm. in the US. Oh, in the US? Yeah. Okay. Excuse Little me. that people know, you know what I'm saying? It's just mm -hmm. that we, you know, it's just, <clears throat> everything with streaming and all that shit, people just don't really listen to the radio no more. So it's probably a lot more work for me now for people mm -hmm. to, but doesn't it count like when people stream online while you're playing as well? Nah. They have no, those, like, you talking about like when, oh, when they... Yeah, like... Well, streaming, for the most part, is like, um... Like Tidal and SoundCloud mm -hmm. oh, and okay. Apple Music, shit like that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's not like... Um, I, doesn't, I don't know how, how they 
calculate that, that calculate with sure. the like the dot com. I really like. Got you. That's a good question. What I'm gonna ask though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask. Gotcha. I know they got the app too. So yeah, there I don't is know an how app. That, I, don't I really wasn't on the app because I wasn't driving at that time. So. But I, it's more of a um, it's better for people to tune in on the radio. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Straight from it. So just trying to work on that right now, but it's definitely a blessing. You know, um, I love R and B. Anybody that knows about R and B don't have nothing to do with like no. Cause I know you're going to get into it probably about like the whole quarantine pandemic shit or whatever, but like it's before that, like I was looking at like my mixtapes, LNFT. This is like 2012. It's 2022. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So the R and B ain't nothing new. A lot of DJs probably or promoters or people just probably think this R and B shit is new to me. Like, nah, I've mm -hmm. been, fucking with this shit for a long time, you know what I'm saying? And now it's just like, <clears throat> it's a blessing to get the the the, the light to shine on, the on the craft now, mm -hmm. you know, and the passion of it. Cause it, <clears throat> if anybody knows, like I'm super passionate about R&B, like, mm -hmm. you know, I went to a soca party yesterday. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen it on my Instagram and I was like, it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. Like, it's been a long time. I haven't been in a soca party. And How was it? For me, it was... All right, you know what it was? I, and it's funny. I'm about to say this, right? When I was younger, I didn't like the old songs. Right? Old because, songs. like, the old okay. soca, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm younger. I'm listening to Jay-Z, Biggie, Nas, whatever. And my family wanted to play the old soca at like the functions with uh -huh. the plastic on the seats and all that. And I'm like, yo, like, what's going on? Like, but yesterday I'm inside the party and I didn't know none of the new soca. <laughs> so when the old soca came on, now I got excited. Turned into soakery. I'm like, oh, it's lit. Like, but then they went back to the to the new soca, and I'm like. I'm there trying to Shazam the song. Not Shazam. Facts. I Shazam mad Soka yesterday. Of course you did. And yeah, one of my Soka thing. friends was there. Soka DJ friends was there. And he was like, like, bro, I'm quite sure you got all the songs. You just, because I don't Probably play don't it no know, more. Right. You know? But. I mean, you dibble and dabble here and there. Every once in a blue moon, you'll see a spot of reggae reef for Soka Reef pop up out of nowhere. But I don't have, but I have the new songs, but I don't. You don't know the names. I'm not studying it no more, mm -hmm. like, because now I'm putting more focus of my focus on the R&B, you know? Makes sense. You gotta, you need everybody. You need every, everything in the library. And it's crazy, because this weekend, I played a lot of Soka. But I, I knew my lane, there. because I knew mm -hmm. there was other... <laughs> Other soca uh, DJs. Other soca DJs. I'm mm -hmm. like, you know, I'm glad I'm playing this time because when they come, right, they gonna do their mm -hmm. thing, and you know what I'm saying. So that's a fact. You know, um, but the R&B is going good, man. Like to be on WBLS, it's a blessing, man. Shout out to the executives, the higher ups, the people that got me on there. They know who they are. Um, and I'm just gonna have fun with this shit. That's just really it. You know, um, I got a, I got a text, uh, but a DM the other day from from a listener. He was like, "Why are you not playing the classics, right?" And I'm like, "Um, at first I have an answer to play like the classic R and B, but then it's like, you know, I said to myself, like, you know, how could we get our generation to listen to?" Because we listen to the new R&B. We listen to Okay, the, what would you consider like the new R&B though? Like, like this. Because we go back to 90s, early 90s. But you mean like classic, classic, like the Luthers in them? No, but that's what I'm thinking they're talking about like the, the 90s. Oh, when I think classic, I think about. But it's a lot of, they like, that's like their, that's like their era. Like, mm -hmm. Okay. You know, I'm the fresh blood up there. Like I'm the new kid that's on the true. block. So it's mm -hmm. like. If I'm like we've been in the car like to go have lunch or whatever like and we listen to like mm -hmm. the Summer Walkers, the Scissors, the Lucky Days and like that's new, new right, like right. Mm -hmm. but it's also really good you know what I'm saying like so it's like I didn't have an answer for him because I'm like it got to be something in, in this station that's interested in me playing R and B mm -hmm. 
it's like 50 DJs on that station. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, so I mean, do the other ones play the older stuff or? Like, you gotta remember, it's, it's really... like, so it's like, a, it's like a mental thing. It's like, so since I'm so used to playing the older stuff, mm -hmm. I'm going to continue to play the older stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really study the new stuff too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and then it's also with like TikTok and all that stuff. Like, Facts. they yeah. listening to the like, the new stuff like mm -hmm. real real crazy like they'll like they'll play some old on tiktok but it'll be like super fast and it's only 15 seconds mm -hmm. not knowing these like it's a whole it's a whole song, song that's like seven minutes <laughs> that's a fact that, that is you a feel fact. me they do it for the moment for the dance that's just really it, you know right. what i'm saying but i don't want to be the dj on wbls to um i don't want to play the old stuff mm -hmm. you know I pay a lot of respect and a lot of homage to the DJs that are up there because they made the classic or, you know, the 90s R&B. They stamped it. Mm -hmm. So now it's like coming from me. We got to, I got to stamp something right. the, so new, the new stuff. And it's not like I listen to like R&B Philly. I listen to like these other like stations like the Midwest and, the you know, the R&B, even like VA and stuff like they not playing the songs. Play? No, they playing the songs that I want to hear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like so, you know, I'm not. I don't. I don't want to be that DJ where it's gonna play the the '90s R&B. I'm yeah. a dipping dad. Dipping Just a little, uh, maybe a little, <laughs> a little, a little, a little shake shake catch day. up, a, a little, little razzle dazzle. <laughs> <laughs> no, a little Caesar dress now, but I, not Caesar. Uh, I gotta, oh, I gotta put on for these new artists, man. That's fact. I gotta put on and for these new artists. Into, you know that type of station mm -hmm. that is known for music, for R and B. Yeah. Music. We yeah. gotta be number one for a reason. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the biggest and best event happening on a weekly basis in New York City. What was that? I heard about it. I don't really go that much or whatever, but I heard. We gonna sip to that. Look, <laughs> look we gonna sip to that. Look. We gonna we gonna sip to that. We gonna, right, sip, we to gonna that. sip to that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> so I heard about this event That's that good. happens um every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Um, I heard it was called I Love Something. Um, what is it? I love what. I love R and B Wednesdays. Oh, it's I love R and B Wednesdays. I mm -hmm. heard that it's um the biggest party, well, the biggest event, because it's not actually a party. I don't think of it as a I'm party. I'm glad you said it that way. I don't think it's a party. It's way too big of a phenomenon <laughs> to be a party. Mm -hmm. And um, I heard it's the best thing to be at in New York City on a Wednesday. That's cool. Is that right? Yeah. It's, it works. It's not a brag about. Hello, mm -hmm. but five. It's about 500-ish. No, the doors open at 7. No, no, I'm not talking about the, um, the, oh. the time. I'm talking about the, oh. amount of, <laughs> the amount of folks that are uh, in the building because, you know, it's like a little light thing. About, about 5? Doors should open at 5. No, I'm talking about like the doors. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> about 5? Five, 5 or so? Um, Roughly? That's crazy. Somebody hit me for a section right now. See, look at that. Wow. I can't make this up. Amazing. Hold on. Can't make it up. I'm so sorry, guys. And he's definitely like answering in the middle. Hold on. Please hold it, guys. I'm going to move this mic real quick. Play a song. <laughs> <laughs> Play a song. Hold on. Um, All right. Hold for real because I'm going to move this. And we'll just edit it because I'm sitting up too far and I'm uncomfortable. We'll just edit that out. Ooh. All right, good. good. Yeah, I was definitely busy. Um, all right, so go ahead. It's cool, it's cool, you know. It's um, a little, uh, situation. I, I want to say we started with like probably like probably like 200 people. <laughs> you little light something, man. Listen, a little light something. It's the frequency, man, and the consistency. I love R and B Wednesdays. Um, it's a blessing, and it's going very well. What are we? Three months in, right? Three months in. I don't know. I, I, 
Is it three months? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't come at first. I, I waited. No, more than three. December. I mean, November. Shit. Right. That's what I'm saying. No, it's more than three. I, I The first time I went was in December. November 10th. Right. Is the first day. Yeah, I went. I started going in December. So what's today? This so is it's February. Uh, so February November. Yeah, three going on four months. Yeah. It's a long time. It's going well, man. You know, it's, people are enjoying it. Um, it's the music. It's nothing else. You know, <clears throat> I don't look at it as a party either. So I like the fact that how you said it as a vet. Um, I treat it like it's a. I treat it like it's an event every week. Mm -hmm. um, you know, truly grateful for the team that I got and Shout the venue. You. That venue is amazing. I must say. Thank you. I like going to that venue a lot. Mm. What do you like about the venue? Secure. Lowest of highest of keys. Like going into the venue, you can feel the presence. Like it's a lot of people. Let's just be real. It's a lot of people mm -hmm. from all types of, all different areas of mm -hmm. Brooklyn, New York, ages and so forth. Ages as well. All different types of ages, right? Mm -hmm. You start from younger than us and then older than us and whatever it may be. And I like the security. Like they're always floating and moving around and making mm -hmm. sure everybody's okay and all that. I, I personally, I'm a small person. I'm five one. I don't like mm -hmm. too much going on mm -hmm. around me. So being in there and just feeling that sense of security and that being safe in a space is important to me. And not even with um, shout out to security. You know what I'm saying? Because I do feel like from the gate, security represents. Well, hundred percent. You know mm -hmm. what you got going on, but it's also the people too. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like, um, you know, when you when you know where you're, you're, you're going there for, for a reason. Mm -hmm. You're going there for R&B. Mm -hmm. You're not going there because you it's this one's out. birthday or mm -hmm. we turning out. Mm -hmm. Like, it happens in there, you right. know what I'm saying? But you know what you're going there for. You're going for the R&B. Right. It doesn't matter if it's from 1968. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? You're going there for the RB right. and <clears throat> the atmosphere and the people inside the uh, venue. It's just love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, like you got singing out in there is a different level. Like, when right. everybody is singing, mm -hmm. literally, like, when y'all are playing and y'all drop the volume, you can hear everyone singing out, like, actually enjoying themselves and enjoying the music. Men and men. Yes. men Men and women are in singing, singing, like, singing. Yo, I've watched dudes like in a phone, two stepping and really singing out in a phone. And hearts out. And like legit, you know when that fantasia right. come on, it's over for everybody, mm -hmm. especially the dudes. So just like like you said, that energy in there is absolutely mm -hmm. dope. Like it's undeniable. Yeah. Get a little hot in there, but it's still lit. <laughs> the frequency is definitely high in there. Um, you know, and it's also like I said, <clears throat> you know, you said you spoke on the security, but also the men that be in there mm -hmm. that secure mm -hmm. what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, you have all different uh, nationalities in there. That's you know true. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You'll see some white folks in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You'll see some Chinese folks mm -hmm. in there. Um, you see some dancers, like... Mm -hmm. It's, it's definitely a dope uh, space to be in, mm -hmm. you know, on a Wednesday uh, evening, Wednesday night. And um, it's just, it's just a blessing, man. Like, I feel like New York City needed it. I think so. I feel like New York City um, is understanding, like, what could happen. You know, there's, the there's other R&B events. R &B and fun, like. We can have this. Right, we can have yeah. this. Like, you know, have. New York is supposed to be the city that don't sleep, right? So, you know, um, it's cool. Like, I feel like once you are passionate about something, like, and then you got the vision and then, like, your team sees the vision and then everybody else starts to understand it's like, Oh, I I see what's going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? And um, I have a little madness to my stuff, but like my team, they're understanding and they see the vision. It's like now, nah, like it's at a point now when like I speak to my team, my team is my friends. 
when I speak to my team, it's like, I don't even have to like say much no more because they understand it. Mm -hmm. They see the vision. You know, I might be stubborn about some stuff um, because I feel like everybody's stubborn and it's just different ways of being stubborn. And um, we want to perfect what we got mm -hmm. going on for our brand. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, so sometimes I might go a little left. Oh, yeah. But, um... <laughs> I'm just glad that this is being recorded with and then said, I heard I'm stubborn. That's a big one. Sometimes I go left. Um, I love that mention here. Yeah, keep going. But you know what it is? It's like, I'm like, I don't want to be a boss. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I want to be a, a great leader. I want to be, yeah, I want to be a great song. leader. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And with leadership, you have to, um, be a great listener mm. you feel me so that's like what i'm trying to like learn now okay so, right, i'm working on myself they, free i'm not going to age come it's on it's not now. even about the age it's just <laughs> about just it's just got to make sense you know what i'm saying like now it's like because people care about me and i care like if anybody knows me like we had like our arguments and shit like that and i'm saying like good arguments about you know our careers and shit Stuff, like that. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So it's like, you know, I feel like if you're not going, <clears throat> it sounds crazy, but I feel like if I don't fuck with you, I ain't going to say nothing to you. Like, I'm going right. to let you do what you do. What but you if I do. fuck with you, you're going to get, you going to get reef. Like, yeah. you're going to get the nigga that's going to curse you out or whatever. Like, right. because it don't come from a bad place. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I value everybody that I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like my my friends are my celebrity friends. Mm -hmm. If you understand what I'm saying, like mm -hmm. I don't follow much um, celebrities and shit like that because mm -hmm. I feel like my friends are the celebrities. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like so, I value my friends and <clears throat> you know trying to be the best leader that I could be. You know I don't want my friends to think that if I tell them no, it's like I don't take it into consideration. Like mm -hmm. you know, <clears throat> just like if you if you doing something free. You would call me three o'clock in the morning and be like, yo, Reef, what you think about this to send a third? And it's up to you to uh, you know, accept what I'm what I'm going to rebuttal. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I don't know, Reef, I don't like that idea, or whatever. Cool, like right. shit, you called me at three o'clock in the morning to ask me my opinion yeah, you know, my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like so Which is true. That's, we had, like you said, extensive conversation about certain shit, like even with Doing stuff. The mm. will talk and go through shit, go through shit, go through shit. Mm. So, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. so, so, it's um, I love RB Wednesdays every Wednesday. <laughs> it's his shameless plug now. <laughs> Check me out. DJ Check him out. Brief. Check him out. And, um, you know, we might be having these in there, these hoodies. It's a heart with Play all, it one more time. all the artists, all, well, not all, but some RB artists. Verna Fogg. Verna Fogg. All right, you can hit up on that Instagram, Verna Fogg with two G's, artist, okay? Good? Yeah, man. Okay, know. true color. Uh, so, we talked about 107, we talked about R&B, but uh, one other point I want to hit on is Mr. Songwriter, Producer, and Artist. That I don't think a lot of people know that you're that as well. Yo, you know it's crazy? Um... I feel like I kind of lost with it too, a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. It's been a minute. It's been a while. And I you actually, had the first song, I heard the second one, because you played it at my brunch once. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know what happened. I got distracted, I ain't gonna lie to you. I got okay. distracted, but I have like five songs I wrote. And I actually wrote a song for uh, a young lady named Kayla. Mm -hmm. You know Kayla, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's actually performing tomorrow. So I actually got six songs I wrote, mm -hmm. but um, I'm about to put my next single I'm about to put out, and I'm about to really um, well I I'm gonna go back to Need to Know featuring Jay Watts, um, and I'm gonna really like put some machine behind it. Mm -hmm. I think I can do it now. I'm gonna figure out a way where it's like I probably do like what is it called the skin like the skin the barcode. Like at R&B. That's what it's at. The, the right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And like when you enter, 
Like, sing it so that you can sing the song. Some I don't know. I gotta figure you know, it something out. Something like that, or um, you can airdrop. Ooh, shit. Nah, I think airdrop. <laughs> Like people do that all the time for you. Like yeah. they just. I it do out. it sometimes. With oh, do you? Flowers. <laughs> yeah, but I, I probably do like the thing where it's like when people come in, they could just scan it, boom, and then they'll have it through the night. I remind people like, yo, this is the song I wrote, or mm -hmm. you know, blah blah blah. I want to get a live performance. I'm just saying. Jay Watts live at R&B Wednesday. Hello. Wouldn't I have to like get the crowd to like know the song first? I mean. First of all, I just want to say this real quick. Maybe I'm wrong, but I've never heard it in Army Wednesday yet. And then, yeah, I've never yeah. heard you play it. You're going to have to edit that. Mm. <laughs> now, you're right. I've you, never um, heard you well, play Well, I could it. now. You know why? Because it's kind of like the same. Um, see, Need to Know was a very dark R&B song. Okay. Um, I play dark R&B songs in it all the time. So, I could play it with like... Although I'm going down or something. Like I could play with like hours and hours, like that type of Okay, that type of vibe, sure. You know what I'm saying? I could play with that type of vibe. It all depends. Like I'm gonna start playing it though. I think that's that sad, sense. right? That I'm not playing my you know own R &B, song. You got an R and B song and don't play his own song to people that party. I, I mean event, sorry. It's, it's actually home. a dope song too, man. It's very relatable. Mm -hmm. Um Y'all can check it out right now. Need to know. You should have like the fly like pop up like right in the middle. That'll be fire. Um, need to know. DJ Big Reef J Watts is on all platforms, streaming platforms. Um, shout out to J Watts from New Jersey. And um, he actually dropped his project. That's another reason why I ain't really like push it. Because he, he has a project that he's been working on for like three years. Hmm. So, I've been seeing that he's doing some recording with, right. um, with, with Skinny. Nev, and, well, ain't Nev the Nerd now? Yeah, Nev the yeah, Nerd. Nev yeah. the Nerd. Yeah. I've um, seen that as well. So that's what it really is. Like That's why I really like focus on our single because I want him to finish his project mm -hmm. and finally put out his project because once he puts out his project, he's going to feel more... Um, he's going to feel better to like work on other music. Got it. You know, and for somebody, that's just like, um, that's just like, you know, say when our, like, our birthdays come up and shit like that, it's like, damn, we focus on our birthday. We really got to do A, B, and C for our mm -hmm. birthday. So that's the thing with his project. Like, I want him to like, just, you know, when you comfortable to put it out, put it out, boom, and then we could get to my shit. You know right. what I'm saying? Like. Right. I got the songs in the chamber. They ready. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to revamp Need to Know. And then after that, I'm going to put Selfish out. Because Selfish is going to be like... Ahead. You heard Selfish or you heard the other one? I don't know. I think I heard the other one. Though. I didn't think it was Selfish. But I yeah. want the exclusive to hear Selfish. Please. Nah, Selfish you. is... I free guess the exclusive. You heard it here. Just saying. Yeah, Selfish is fire. I got a little story to my stuff, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when y'all hear that Need to Know... Y'all gonna know like um, it's, walk, 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 walk. it's it's very relatable. I think that song like when it really goes far, it's not gonna. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's gonna get corny. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's gonna get played out because it's a song that everybody go through every single day, you know. And um, we gonna put it out sooner. But I gotta get back in the studio and I gotta start. Well, not in the studio. Back in like my zone because mm -hmm. i'm not really a studio person like that mm -hmm. i'd rather just um oh yeah almost done all right <laughs> and then i come but i get it i see why like you it's know the thing. creators yeah they want to do it from the very beginning and like when start from it from scratch yep. and shit. you know what i'm saying like uh -huh. like you're a part of the process and mm -hmm. like you know but um I like it. Like that's like a. Like that too. Just being. Amazed. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. I like the. Um, I like writing the music. Okay. It's good. It puts you in a different. It, it it makes you like, oh shit, I could do this. Like, oh, I thought I was just a DJ or whatever, <laughs> a party promoter. And but now you're the song. What song writer, producer, artist? Yeah, man. Add it to the resume. Add to the resume. I told you. I told people, man. I'm getting a Grammy. I don't care. I heard you, too. you heard me say it, right? Yeah, I'm getting a Grammy. Can't nobody yeah, tell me 
Can nobody tell you different. Look, you manifested 107.5 from six years you ago. You feel me? Okay. Well, nobody can tell you can't get no Grammy. You feel me? I like. Feel you. I said, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a Grammy. I don't, I, I'm going to get it too. Like, I don't care how many artists I got to work with. You're going to get it. I'm going to get it. Because if you don't manifest this shit, man. Then what you doing? Shit ain't going to happen, man. And you got to have, have you got to have the right people around you and you, your vision. Um, You know, some people use a vision board. I don't know. I think everything's like up here. Three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning. And I go to sleep for like two hours and wake up, you know. So back at it again. Back at it, man. But back at it again. need to know, man. Then selfish. It's gonna be like a little story. Need to know. Then need to know is like. Well, I get the exclusive for selfish. That's all I'm. Gonna yeah, say. I'm gonna let you. I'm definitely gonna let you hear. See, it's lit. Now, before we end with the music, because I have one last question to ask about the music, but I'm gonna do something that um I'm sure DJ Big Rick has never done before. Well, maybe he doesn't do very often, and I'm going to get in his personal business because this is free time with free, and we get in each other's business. So the good thing is, you're not on the spot, and you get to be in my business as well. Yeah? I'm listening. <laughs> so you're going to choose one of these. Uh, these here. Names. One of these. You choose one. Okay. That has five in there. I don't know if you really want to go that far. Like five what? That has five different games in there. Like five different card games. That you might... I don't know if you want to touch that one. Yeah. Not quite sure. Right, that so one is let's just, very mixed up. All right, let's just. I feel like it would either be one of these two would be your best bet. Which ones? I feel like she trying to line me up. <laughs> I feel like this one right no, here you should not, drink. <laughs> not even. This was about self love. That was more about other stuff. It's a mixture of a whole bunch of love stuff. Listen, you missed the R&B. Love is all up in you. Come on. And this one is a. <laughs> this one is a mixture of questions. You all right, whatever you want to pick. No, I can't. No, we'll be here all day. All right, don't start. We'll be here all day. We're not gonna Whichever be Whichever one you want to pick, you see. You pick. See, that's the problem with y'all ladies these days. First of all, we're not getting like, into that. I'm you're hungry. The, you're the guest. I'm hungry. No, no. You're the guest on the show. And then when a nigga be like, the guest so what chooses. you want to eat? And you be like, I don't know. So then you really not hungry? But it's not my choice. I play all of these games. And then a nigga be like, all right, do you want? Brooklyn Chop House. Nah, I don't want. Brooklyn. So then you really not hungry? I asked the girl to pick the game. Pick the game, free. You pick the game. I don't know which game. All right, I don't know which game to. Pick. You see? You're the guest. Do you pick the game that you want to play? Uh, listen, y'all, check out. I got. I love R&B <laughs> Wednesday each and every Wednesday. Ladies All right, are I think absolutely I'm gonna pick free on Eventbrite. Don't pick this one. Don't pick this one. I don't. You Wednesday. know what? I'm gonna pick the self love deck. I think, because I haven't, I don't think I've played this one yet. It's all right. I'm going to pick this up a little bit, because for the new season, you're going to pick a new game. What are we talking about? Love? It's self-love. Oh, self-love. All right, because I don't know nothing about love. You want to talk about love, love? I don't I mean, know I'm nothing about, love, love, about man. love, love. I just play the love song. Oh, you know nothing about it? Nah, That's man. Cute. That's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> <don't know. laughs> they don't know about love, but they play the love song. Mm, all right, it. here's the fun part. All right. Um, you go first because because I'm the guest. You're the guest, exactly. Got you. All right. So, well, you want me to ask you first, or you want to answer first? It don't matter. Yeah, because That's what I'm saying it's oh, oh. difficult. Just, just difficult, sir. Jeez, <sighs> jeez, I get um, to ask you this. Yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they, I hope you, I hope yo, yo, engineer, zoom on her face. Oh my God. Are you fully healed from your previous relationship? <laughs> <laughs> if not, where does it still hurt? <laughs> Fun fact about free. Since, I mean, if we gonna play this paper. for- Yo, free, as long as I know you, <clears throat> Unless you like really know how to keep a private life, I know you've been single for like. There we go. Life. That's exactly what I was gonna say. That's right. exactly what I was gonna say. Fun fact about free. Yeah. So this free card, has get not this been black ass <laughs> card out here. She, yo, look. You got me playing this See, black look at ass you. game. See. I can try, answer try something, questions. but free's never been in a natural relationship in her adult life. Boom. No, I ask you now. Oh, okay. I got you. Right. Boom. Mm -hmm. See, look at that. Ooh. 
dodge the bullet. Oh, okay. What negative thoughts about yourself do you need to rinse away with self-love? <clears throat> I told you pick the game. Um, I'm gonna be so honest. Since we being honest here, um, I hate doing this part right here with Free because Free knows a lot about me. Um, little that people know, she does know a lot about me. Um, but yeah, I get turned off so fast. <laughs> I get turned off fast. I'm not gonna lie. So I gotta um learn how to fix that negative shit about me. Okay. It was an honest answer. I'm saying a nigga in his mid-30s, like Mid? late 30s. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, like, I ain't got time to be playing with y'all, man. Mid or upper? <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> oh, this is lit right here. <laughs> you keep saying that. I wonder if it really is. I died the first one. What would you like the last chapter in your book of life to be entitled? Mm -hmm. Last chapter in your book of life to be entitled. Peace and love. Hmm. Peace and love. Yep. Yeah, because the world needs it. That's what I want. Facts. I want to be in love in the 90s, sitting in my rocking chair, smoking my hooks with my husband, mm -hmm. living a peaceful life. In America or somewhere else? Uh, nah, somewhere else. Yeah, cut. Nah, when I hit by, that, by, by the time I hit that age, nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I like, just uh, use America. Yeah. By the time I hit that age, they good stuff. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm good on that. <sighs> oh, this is a good one. <clears throat> In what ways are you actively guarding your heart? Are these ways healthy? Explain. Mm. I don't. I think my. I don't. I don't think my guard is up no more. So, I don't think my. Like I've been learning. Like you know, during the pandemic, I learned a lot about. Um. Not wanting to be alone. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Um. There's someone for everyone out there. Um, your helper will come. It's in the Bible. It says it. Um, so it's not my guard no more. My guard isn't up no more. Like, it's just... I mean, well, my guard isn't down. Um, Wait, your guard isn't, your guard isn't up or is not down? Wouldn't be... A, wouldn't your, is your guard, guard be up down? or your guard is down? Where you're open, your heart is open now. <clears throat> But wouldn't it be wouldn't it be like my guard is down if your heart is open? You are. Right. I'm like, huh? Okay. Yeah. So my guard isn't down, right? Because okay. my heart is open. It is down. So my guard is down. Mm -hmm. All right, we don't have to edit that. <laughs> um, your guard is down, but I got you. My guard is down. Mm -hmm. I'm lost on that part. If your guard is up, these are the gates. It's your guard. But if the window's open. That's when you start to be difficult. You and, see, and, this and, is and what I'm saying, right? This is what this so, is what, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. So if the window's window, open. We're not talking about the windows, we're talking about the guards. If the door's open. What door? We're talking about the guards. What door? Well, the door is closed, but the window's open? So it's like half and half? This is what I'm saying. I don't, see, I feel like. Listen. <laughs> and we, we got to it's always a twist when I try to like always a twist but my heart is open man like I, okay. like, I don't want to like nah you I, yo listen you can't take the past and bring it on with you like the past is the past for a reason you understand what I'm saying like and if you live in that that if you live with that mentality where you're gonna keep dwelling on shit or mm -hmm. oh the last nigga I was with, or 
the last girl I was with, like, nah, nigga, like, it's a whole new slate. Like, who cares? Like, like it's either you're going to live to live or you just going to be stuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody got time for that shit. Especially in our times now, because you never know what the mm -hmm. hell is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Shit is not. None of us thought we were going to be living through something like this ever in life. Ever in life. You know never what I'm saying? This is some shit, you know, our children going to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Your little one. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is like some real crazy it's shit. Life that, changing. You know Literally I mean? life changing. So, yeah. But I know it's going to come though because these movies, they put out these movies mm -hmm. for reasons. And they definitely are predictions for mm -hmm. it is. Like. 100%. Okay. Pick my card. I see. <clears throat> what are you most passionate about in life? And what fruit has that passion for? Most passionate. I mean, I have a different passion than that damn near hateful. But most, I think this. I think this. This is what I'm most. This shit gives you excitement. It got you doing research. It got you. I love this. Like we talked about on the season, obviously. Last season, <clears throat> I've been doing this for years. Like I did radio for a few years, mm -hmm. internet radio for a few years, and then you know we broke apart and because uh, the station, the building, our soul, we separated by the KCB. But coming back into this is definitely my biggest passion. I think it gives me and brings me the most joy, mm -hmm. like in anything else that I do. I love to talk and I love to debate. I love having different types of conversations with people and. This for sure, I think is, not I think, this for sure is what I do love to do the most. That's why I, I want you, I'm gonna just point out something for you. Yeah. I watched a few of your interviews and this is the less, the least talking you ever did in your That's interview. That's not true. Nah, I'm dead ass. That is not true. <laughs> okay. Just watch your tapes over. I, we've been talking back and forth. It's okay. It's my go. No, it's my go. Oh, my fault. I let the guests chat, no? Which parts of your life do you need to be more careful in choosing who you give access? Let me see that again. Oh, I thought you was going to Which part? Hmm. <laughs> um... Yo, free. You know, I don't really, I don't really fuck with a lot of people. Listen, so I'm people, pulling the cards. I know, I know, but so I'm like, I don't really like. You know, my circle kind of tight, so it's kind of, it's not easy to like really get into, uh -huh. into my life, like. So I don't know, like I really don't have an answer for this one right here. I mean, that's honest. If that's the answer, that's the answer. I, I really don't have an answer. I don't, you know I don't fuck with people. Like. Yes, I know. This is not about what I know, though. This is about what everybody else doesn't know. And, and it's not, it's not even learn. that, though. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. that. It's more because... I don't know. I guess because I'm at that age now. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like uh -huh. I'm okay with the friends I got. You know what I'm saying? I'm okay with the peoples in my life, you know? They gonna understand me the most, and I'm gonna understand them the most, and that's very important to understand your your friends. Mm -hmm. I think a lot that's of a people that is a big, you know, what I'm saying fact. like, damn, yo, I've been around this nigga for 15 years, and you don't understand nothing yet, like, then they ain't really, you know, what I'm saying, they're not really even your friends, exactly, right. you know, what I'm saying. So I, that's something I kind of like learn, like recently too mm -hmm. and not because of me because you know other like shit mm -hmm. that i've seen mm -hmm. amongst you know friends and shit like that like yo like if you really call somebody you know your friend your brother your sister whatever mm -hmm. you gotta really like learn to understand them and mm -hmm. put shit to the side and shit you know what i'm saying and be like Bye. you know what it's my nigga right here and i get it you know what I'm saying? And it's nothing wrong Sometimes, with that. but not all the time, though. I'm gonna have to disagree with you too. Because, yeah, not all the time. Yeah, because you gotta, you know, although you understand somebody, like, I think something that, ha something that happens amongst people at times, like, 
you choose to treat everybody the same way. And you can't quite do that because everyone doesn't have the same personality. Mm. So at times you don't have to change anything, but you adjust how you maneuver with 100%. individuals. A hundred percent. You know? And that goes with like, like me, I can't, you know this, like I can't deal with a lot of personalities. Like it could be 15 uh -huh. people. It could be seven people in the room and it's like, it might be a little bit too much for me, uh -huh. you know? And um, it's not impersonal, not like that. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's because that's how I was raised or because of shit I've seen in life or whatever, but. It's just your personality, you know what or I'm just, saying? Yeah, my personality. Right. Like I could be having like a little get together in my crib and it's like, all right, this ain't my, this ain't it for me right here. My safe zone is like, by the, uh, by the uh, DJ equipment. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I gotta go. You feel me? <laughs> Not even like that. Like, just take uh, the food. Like, just get yeah. the food out of my house. But yeah, I gotta go. I don't be on no Martin shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that to me. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of like learning. That's, I'm kind of like learning that shit too. Like, mm -hmm. you know, as you get older, you get wiser, right? So, That's a fact. you know. That is a fact. And maturity, mm -hmm. you know, you get more mature for you to like understand shit and um, just be more open to shit. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, I'm working on um, I'm working on my emotional intelligence. Well, come on, snaps in a row, <laughs> snaps in a row. <laughs> and um, come on you know, now, I'm working on my emotional intelligence and it's shit the like growth that. Growth speak because um, you know, people that you know, work with us and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Like, <clears throat> I always say it's not about the money. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. like, the money gonna come. Mm -hmm. But you really gotta like, um, if you wanna be a great leader, you gotta learn to listen and take shit into consideration, you know, and not just be super stubborn. Cause, you know, I've been hearing you say this on the lives and stuff like that too recently. You know, you've been admitting that you're stubborn and yeah, man. You begin. Look at you, friend. It's not even that, man. It's just I just want to be a, like, I just want to be a, a an amazing person to people. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, and you can't be a great leader if you're not amazing. Like. Like I said, I don't want to be a boss. Like I want to be a great leader so that other people could see what's going on. Even the young ones that's, you know, down with the team, like they could take it and they could run with it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And perfect it better than how we did it. Cause okay. you know what I'm saying? The young ones got 15, 20 more years mm -hmm. in this business. You know what I'm saying? You know, I want to, I want a legacy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I come from Coney Island, like, People don't go to Coney Island. They only go to Coney Island for fucking so, footprints and probably Easter. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas don't really go to Coney Island like that. So, you know, I wear that shit on my sleeve. I'm very prideful about Coney Island. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel I, sometimes to this day I still feel like I'm an outsider. And I'm here, where we're at, like with the people, like mm -hmm. that with like our community, our yeah. circuit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be feeling like a, a outsider, but you know, I'm learning to like adjust and, you know, be a better person. I think that's very important too, like to compromise and to adjust even within like a relationship or whatever, you know, business part is friends. Like, mm -hmm. but like you said, you know, you could turn the cheek and be like, nah, I'm good. I'll stay there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's, it's okay to have this crew right here. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I mean, having a strong core is important, so mm -hmm. that makes sense. And you know, there's two. Everybody's not friends either. Some people are acquaintances. Some people are good for business. Some people. Everybody plays a different role in your life, mm -hmm. and that's okay because everybody's not supposed to be on the same level with you, anyways. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you know, having your core cool crew and having your acquaintances and having whoever outside of that, it's all right. Right. I I don't think it should be a level thing though. Um, you don't think so? No. Nah. Okay, I guess. I mean, we just talked about access and all that other stuff. It's an equal thing. Okay. You know, um, stages. I'm talking about like amongst friends. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Amongst friends. Like, mm -hmm. like, 
if we friends, you shouldn't feel that you're better than me and I'm better than you. Okay. No, that, okay, That's that I understand. Okay, fine. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that. All right. All right. <clears throat> if you could write a letter to the childhood you, what would it say? Not the big free. The, the little, little one. Free. <laughs> <laughs> if you could write a letter to the childhood you, that means the little free, not the not big free. free, what would it say? <clears throat> Person who's gonna be a long child. Um, follow your instincts. That's the first one. Follow your instincts. So that's like when your parents say, "No, you should go to school and work for the city or be a nurse." And you want to do something? To just follow your instincts. There we go. That's one. Mm -hmm. Um. It's gonna be okay. Mm hmm. That's a big one. You are enough. Mm hmm. That's a really big one. Don't be afraid. Mm hmm. And I think that's it. Uh, that covers a lot. That was a good. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. That was a good. Yeah, that covers a lot. And it's like it's it's okay. <laughs> That's the main. Right. Yeah. Shit gonna be good. It's gonna be alright. It's right. gonna be alright. It's mm -hmm. gonna work out. All yeah. of it. Like it's all going to work out. Yeah. Shit gonna be okay. I think the following your instinct is the, the the main. Follow your instincts. Mm -hmm. Go with your gut. Go with your and gut. And everything. Business. Relationship. Everything. And and just for like live for you. Well, that's the biggest one. I think. Live that's for fine. you. Mm hmm. Live for you is something that I definitely would tell my younger self. Mm -hmm. Live for you. Yeah. So the game is over, right? Yeah. All right. What well, R&B song are you listening to right now? Uh, I love you some Keanu Lede. So mm -hmm. um, there's two of them. Protection. It's a big tune for me. I love that song. Mm -hmm. You know that song. Mm -hmm. Do you know that's where that song was sampled from? <laughs> why, why do they? Why do they do this? Like I don't know why. They, <laughs> just, 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 why do they do this? Like nah, you know what's funny? Because I found out by accident how it was sampled or what it was sampled from. But that's not the point. Right. Um, Protection and um, Show Love. Those are my two mm. top right now from her. Love those songs. Mm -hmm. Those are my faves. Mm -hmm. And then you know, get a little nasty, a little on it with some jazz and some art. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 but those, those are my faves, top three mm -hmm. right now. But I ain't gonna lie, free put me on to like one or two songs, like two, <laughs> in the car. Like, oh nah, this is fire right here. You know, or I'm playing it, and you gonna be pressing buttons. Like, wait, let me listen to that again. What was the other? What was the song that I hear? Sunshine by Gogo. Sunshine. Mm -hmm. Just playing in the car. Sunshine. Like, <laughs> Sunshine. Sunshine. Yeah. 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 Sunshine.
Nigga, you ain't gonna get the same quality, nigga. Spend your bread. Spend your Spend bread. Your dollar. Download your song, damn it. Invest you know in your craft, people. Invest in your craft. Exactly. There you go. That's what I had to do for the radio and all that shit. Hello, you see all this shit around here? Invest in your damn craft. Because, you know, with the radio, you know, if I can't make my show, I'm gonna have to pre record. Mm -hmm. So the day we go shopping for equipment, the same microphone I told you to get. Mm -hmm. That shit like five hundred. Mm -hmm. I had to get a five hundred dollar microphone. The mic stand was like two hundred. Mm -hmm. The mixing board was like three hundred. I'm like, damn, I gotta buy this software, that software. Mm -hmm. I'm like, shit. Hey, that's like, but if you gonna do this shit, y'all, y'all gotta invest in your shit. Whatever y'all doing, invest in y'all shit. If you, if you really want this shit. Mm -hmm. Invest in y'all shit, man. Real shit, cause ain't nobody gonna do it if you don't do it. If you going if you wanna be that winner, gotta invest in everything. Take the time out, talk to yourself in the morning, let yourself know, like speak in that mirror, like yo, I know my purpose, I know what I want, I know I'm passionate about, you know, I know my vision and everything will come to light. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit don't happen overnight. I ain't gonna hold you, you know. <laughs> Oh, Anybody God. that knows me knows I've been like, yo, I seen a post today, right? Mm -hmm. Um, For All-Star Weekend. This is what, today is February 21st, y'all. All-Star Weekend just passed this weekend. And I seen my first All-Star Weekend appearance 2015 mm. with me, Khaled, Funk Flex, Bobby Trans, Puff Daddy, French Montana, Jim Jones, the list goes on. I think even Amigos was there. This 2015, yo. And I'm looking at this shit. And I'm like, I was going to post it today. But I'm like, oh, so we going to over, right? I don't know why. But I'm like, damn, son. Like, if you really want some, okay. you're going to go get it. You're going to keep pushing. You're going to, like, to be on the stage with all those amazing celebrities, artists. I'm way back. From yeah. 2015 yeah. is now 2022. Yeah. Time. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, free has a, a, a valid point. Um, invest in, in your brand. Invest in your shit because it can happen. And if you got the right team around you and if you be a good listener, you're going you gonna to get far. You're going to make it. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm talking about this shit heavily because... <clears throat> He's talking to y'all and also talking to himself. For real, man. Um, Anybody knows me. I got a big heart. Like, I really, like, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. Um, but you don't want your, you don't want, even though there's, you know, there's a friendship side and a business side, that's what can fuck up a lot. That's a fact. You feel me? Like, you know, and it's like, damn, we got the business okay. part. Right. But then it's like, you know what, bro? Like, I ain't gonna, I don't want to lose my friendship. So, yo, maybe we can't do this business shit. You know what I'm saying? And that happens, like, where you can't do both with everybody. Like, that's why I said earlier, everybody has to play a role in your mm -hmm. life. And sometimes the roles can't cross. And mm -hmm. sometimes they can. Mm -hmm. And everything's okay. But when it can't, it just can't. And there should be no love loss. There should be no separation for real, for real. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it over here, it don't mean that you can't do what you got to do over there. Or mm -hmm. we're both just not, we're both not going to succeed. Or mm -hmm. both not going to be okay because we're not doing it together. Mm -hmm. You just got to find different ways. Mm -hmm. 100%. So. I agree with that. And that's it for DJ Big's Reefs TED Talk. Now, <laughs> <laughs> he dropped the mic on that one. Mm -hmm. But, um, so mm -hmm. my very last question for you, sir. And, uh, give me five years. Well, five years? Yep. Five years. Um, I don't five think years. that far ahead. Give me one. Three to six months. Um, <laughs> Yo, all I asked was something specific. Yo, the now man. seriously, I really don't think that far ahead. All right, tell me how far you are right now. Um, what are we in? We're in February. February? Yeah. Three months. Yeah, that's happening. Um, you can't tell me. All right. Damn. No, if you already know, then it's not fair. Then I need something that you want or you see. All right, hold on. Let me. Can I do? Can I just pull up my phone real quick? I just want to show you something real quick. Okay. I, I don't want to um say. 
No, hold on. I just, I'd rather just let the, the camera. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up because we're kind of far from the camera. All right, hold on. So you see this, right? Okay. 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 All right. So I said I want to do that in three months, and it's gonna happen. Okay. So just New York City, look out for it. Really? Yeah. Okay. I saw it, guys. It's pretty impressive, it's, right? I saw it. It's, okay. All right. Look, and it's like real, though. Watch this. Hold on. It's not. Uh, I wish I could I wish share, I could tell y'all, but. I wish I could because. You know, I'd rather just. I'm just like, okay. Like, this is text message. Okay. So it's like. Yeah. It's about to happen for real, for real. Okay. And um, probably six months. I probably, um, like my other goal for three to six months. <clears throat> I want to move out of New York. Okay. You know? Yeah. I'm not finished with New York. I love New York. This is my city. Mm -hmm. Um, It's more because I'm just used to, I like, I like, I fly out for no reason now mm -hmm. because listen, y'all, it's February. It's cold outside. <laughs> it's been cold outside every year of your life. And this is fall in February. Um I just wanna I just wanna I don't wanna move out of New York. I just wanna get another home out outside of New so you York. Can go back you know what I'm saying? Forth. Yeah, so okay. I can go back and forth. Um it's attainable. I don't put you. like um I don't know, I don't know if it's a good thing or not, I'll, like put a time on like what I want to happen. Like Cause you asked for like the goal, like right. five year goal. Mm -hmm. But one of my top goals, it could happen this year, next mm -hmm. year. You know, it's all on God mm -hmm. and um, you know, my team and I. The ultimate goal is to open up a DJ school. That's big. You know. That's nice. For the children, like. This is another option for you guys. Mm -hmm. Um, I already like I had a spot, but then the pandemic happened. Mm -hmm. You know, no one really knew, just a few like my business partners. Mm -hmm. And it was going to be like um, in the morning, I was going to do like a studio for like dance mm -hmm. or what a choreography, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it was one side was mirrors okay. and the other side was like brick wall. And then, like, after school, um, I was going to do like two different sessions mm -hmm. for children, you know, and young teenagers and stuff like that also to like help the parents too right to give parents time to like get home from work get home for work right. do mm -hmm. some other shit you know pamper yourself too because mm -hmm. it's not just about um uh you know people you you got to pamper yourself to feel good about you know what i'm saying like damn i even though reef is charging me this amount to go get my kid into this dj class or whatever i could like kill some time right. and probably have the time to do some other shit yeah you know pamper myself like oh you know go get the nails done right. go get the hair done if that like you know what i'm saying like sh stuff like that you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying um but that's like it's gonna happen it's gonna happen and i got like a great support system with like all my dj friends mm -hmm. across america even like the ones that's not in america mm -hmm. so even like <clears throat> A certain DJ that don't live in New York or don't live in America, when he come into town, be like, yo, bro, be a part of it. pull up. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Show yeah. them this part of your craft. And, you know, I'm going to get, like, canvas of, like, them with artists. and mm -hmm. Because, people like, these children don't know that it's, you know, it's not just about being an artist or other whatever. It's other the shit behind well. it. Yeah. It's the manager. Mm -hmm. It's the... Producer. It's the writer. You understand know what I'm saying? It's the engineer. It's the, yeah. But... Social media is only showing the end result, right? They're not showing that there's Behind somebody things. busting their ass Behind for this mm -hmm. artist. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's a great thing they should be teaching children. Yeah, like y'all already here first. I'm just saying. I like when I get exclusive. Nah, you know? facts. Like yeah, like that's <laughs> like the end goal. Like right. I feel like you know, it's other shit that's you know, but I'm I'm in a happy place. You know what I'm saying? Like. I already feel like I made a legacy for my hometown, which is Coney Island. Like, mm -hmm. I was the first, you know, person on radio. Mm -hmm. I was the first person on TV. Um, From Coney Island. 
first person newspaper magazines from Coney Island. The first DJ to like travel the world from Coney Island. You know, we have other amazing DJs out there. Like, you know, my brother, like DJ Alpo, he's in Atlanta now. He's lit, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's like having a legacy. I've been in this shit a long time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want. I want a legacy. I want, you know, I DJed for the Cyclones 90th anniversary. <laughs> that's, that's you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like for your backyard. Mm hmm. 3,000 people, your backyard, a uh, fabulous perform, some other artists performed, I can't remember, but you know, I like, I want a legacy, you know what I'm saying? So with part of my legacy, I definitely want to open up a school for these children and just have some fun shit, you know what I'm saying? And you know, make the parents feel good too, like, you know what I'm saying? You're a parent, you know what I'm saying? Like. Shit, you be needing that little break. Like, I mean, like, <laughs> Reef, what time is the door open? Let me put my damn kid inside his class Period. now. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But that's the, that's really the, um, that's, that's the really goal. the end See, I got to go a lot of him. Yeah. There we go. That's the end and go. And make more music, too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I really want to get into this, um, to this music shit and make this R&B shit and just have fun with it, man. R&B didn't die. No. It's just... It's different. What it is is just that um, social media is not really not focusing right. on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. They're not really focusing on it. And it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm bringing that shit back. Facts. <laughs> Did you just drop the mic? That's it. <laughs> so um, we plug 107.5 every Friday. From seven to eight, each and every Wednesday, Army Wednesday. I love Army Wednesdays. That's right. And Polygon. Right? That's it. Vernon Fogg. Vernon Fogg. We With cannot two forget. G's. We can't forget. G G. Vernon Fogg. I hope that's how it's pronounced. I hope so too. Me because too, he's been saying that all night. <laughs> Vernon Fogg. Plugging the wrong G -G, person right? Fog, all right? night. Huh? F O G G. F O G G Fog, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Vernon Fogg. Vernon Fogg. So shout out to Vernon Fogg. Fog. 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 Verna I'm about to say Fog. Verna Fog. Artist. <laughs> Verna Fog. Artist. V e r n a f o g g artist. Check it out on Instagram. Yes. Mhm. Mm and where can they find you? And, oh, you can follow DJ Big Reef at DJ Big Reef um, on Instagram. I'm about to start TikTok too. Okay. I ain't gonna be doing that, that dumb shit, but I'm about to start. Can you do like on TikTok? <laughs> Somebody said. Uncle Reef, Instagram is for old people. <laughs> you want to realize, we've been on Instagram since like 2011, you know. I know, right? Because we jumped from Twitter to Instagram from like then. My Facts. first post on Instagram was like 2011, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. We, we can, we can. 2011? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. We've been in this shit a long time. I'm not getting, oh, I'm getting young, you heard? All right, so listen, y'all, I'm wrapping this show up, man. My name is DJ Big <laughs> Reef. Shout out to my host, Free. You know what I'm saying? Hey, because you um, know this is his show now. It's my show, you heard? You heard? Each and every Wednesday, I love R&B Wednesdays. I'm like, this don't, I'm like, this don't drop every Wednesday. <laughs> Each and every Friday, WBLS 107.5 FM with the people sham. DJ Big Reef, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. We call that Frequency Fridays. And, um, you know, make sure y'all subscribe to Free. She's doing an amazing job. I'm happy for you. I'm, I'm glad you... You staying on point with this shit right here, you know what I'm saying? Because the culture needs it, our circuit needs it, mm -hmm. our community needs it, and um, it's a wrap. I try not to ting. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for tuning in for another to another episode of Free Time with Yes Truly and W Free. Thank you, DJ B Free, for spending some free time with me. See y'all in the next episode. Peace. <laughs>